three eye atlas came from almost the same direction in the sky as a very unusual gamma ray outburst. And what is really great, we have a lot of astronomers looking at three eye atlas right now. And we are documenting all these anomalies and we're at 15 at least right now. And NASA is silent. This is what I don't understand. Why don't they address these obvious anomalies? Math doesn't lie, guys. So they're still saying nothing to see here. This is a normal comet. Yeah, maybe it is. But why don't you talk to people about the anomalies that Harvard professor Avi Lopez listed that are really well explained and documented and visible in the images. So wouldn't that be good to excite people? I mean, people are excited about 3i Atlas. Why not talk to them and, and raise the interest in science so that maybe kids say, wow, this was fascinating. Now I want to study astronomy or whatever, guys. I don't understand the silence. And of course, this is suspicious for many people. I'm not a conspiracy theorist. I'm just documenting what people and scientists find about 3i Atlas and I have to scratch my head. I, you can't just plain say this is just a comet. You have no experience with this. And Avi Lip also says the arrogance of many scientists and the unwillingness to look what it could be. But let's discuss in this videos, are these two things related that 3i Atlas came almost from the same direction as a very unusual gamma ray burst? I'll explain this in detail. Don't be scared of these scientific descriptions. I'll break it down for you so that we really will understand what is happening. So are these two things related? Let's slow this down a little bit, guys. What is 3i Atlas? We know it's an interstellar object. It's already an alien coming from another star system outside our solar system. This is important to say. So it's not from the sun, not from the planets, not from deep space between stars. Officially, it was discovered this year, July 2025. Astronomers describe directions in the sky in a very, very certain way. So they're using coordinates as well, like longitude and latitude that we're using here on Earth, but they just call it different. So in space, it's called the right ascension and the declination. So 3 Three Eye Atlas, it's important that we know from which direction it came. It came from a direction that is called RA272, right ascension 272 degrees, DEC minus 19 degrees, declination minus 19 degrees. This is the direction where 3i Atlas came from. And guys, I have something to ask you just a little bit. Click the hype button and the like button early in this video. You help my channel grow with this and support my channel. Thank you, thank you, thank you for clicking and hyping and maybe commenting and liking and sharing and subscribing and all the other stuff, you know it. So what is a gamma ray burst? That is important to know if we say it's coming from the same direction. Basically guys, a gamma ray burst is the most powerful explosion that you can imagine in the universe. And it releases more energy in just seconds or hours than the sun will release in its entire lifetime. So usually these gamma ray bursts, they come from, and that's sad, they come from dying stars or like when black holes are being formed. So most gamma ray bursts, they don't last long. They only last like a few seconds to a few minutes. But there's one specific gamma ray burst that was different. And that's the one that we're trying to see is that related to 3i Atlas. The burst was called GRB250702b. b And it has lasted 25,000 seconds. Guys, this is almost seven hours. This is really, really long. This make it, makes it the longest gamma ray burst that has ever been recorded. And guess when this was discovered? It was discovered on July 2nd, 2025. One day 
after they discovered interstellar object slash comet slash spaceship slash space junk slash whatever the heck it is, how I always say. One day after they discovered 3i Atlas. So the timing is already like something where we look at, hmm, let's dive deeper into this. And it came from a sky direction of RA 285 degrees, DEC minus 8 degrees. So both things appeared in roughly the same part of the sky. Not exactly the same line, but the same part of the sky. The angular separation between them was 17 degrees. So is that meaningful? Let's look into this. It's important to understand that as well before we can maybe come to a conclusion. So what does 17 degrees actually mean out there in space? If you stretch your arm out, your clenched fist covers about 10 degrees off the sky. So basically, this is less than two fists apart, right? One and a half, something like this. It's, it's not much. It sounds close, right? So, and here is the interesting part, statistically. I like my statistics. Statistically, this gives a chance probability of 0.2. 0, 0.2. That means 2%. At first glance, that sounds rare, a 2% chance, right? Here's the key point. The date basically doesn't matter. 3 Atlas did not suddenly appear on July 1st, right? It was always there. We just discovered it. 3 Atlas had been traveling through the outer solar system, through the Oort cloud, for about 8,000 years. We just happened to discover it now, and the date was July 1st. But now another important fact. There are several hundred gamma ray bursts every year. They are spread evenly across the entire sky. So that means basically the sky is constantly lighting up with these events. So if you wait long enough, coincidence will happen, right? So over 8,000 years, a 2% alignment is not surprising at all. Even though this burst was unusually long, long gamma ray bursts do happen occasionally. And we already know another one. In December 2011, a gamma ray burst called GRB 111-209A lasted for four to seven hours, so very similar duration. That burst was later confirmed to be caused actually by a supernova, like a massive star exploded. And that happened, and these numbers are crazy guys, right? 13.7 billion light years away. So that proves on this one side, let's, let's talk about this first. These long bursts are normal cosmic explosions and not nearby events, like not local, not connected to objects in our solar system. Because from past data, we know this, an ultra long gamma ray burst happens about once every 14 years, a very long one, right? And during those 14 years, there are about 4,000 total gamma ray bursts of all types. And based on that math, a seven hour gamma ray burst should line up within 17 degrees of 3i Atlas. Here comes the interesting part. Roughly once every 670 years. I'll repeat that. A seven hour gamma ray burst like we have observed just a day after 3i Atlas was discovered should line up with that 17 degrees of 3i Atlas once every 670 years. So now remember, 3i Atlas has been inside um, our solar system for 8,000 years. So that means we would expect about a dozen such coincidences during that time. And it seems this year just happens to be one of them. And I, th and I have to say, now it gets even less impressive, guys. 
In 2025 alone, there were already about six normal gamma ray bursts that also lined up within 17 degrees of the direction that 3i Atlas came from. So no one has noticed those because they were not unusually long. So what is the conclusion that we can draw from this, guys? There is no physical connection. There's no signal. There's no interaction. There's no shared origin. It's just statistics, right? So if you watch the sky long enough, rare things will eventually line up. And that does not mean they are related, right? We, we've seen this with earthquakes, with tsunamis, where people say it's this and that, that has caused this earthquake. Well, if you wait long enough, right, something will happen and things will line up. So it looks interesting that there might be a connection between 3i Atlas and these, these, these um, gamma rays but it means nothing. It's a coincidence we should expect when dealing with thousands of cosmic explosions and an object that has been passing through our neighborhood for thousands of years. Nothing more, nothing less. I'm sorry that in this video I can present you another anomaly, although we're all longing for them. But guys, you have to subscribe because my next video will blow your mind again because there is something else that has been discovered with 3i Atlas, guys. It does not cease to amaze us. So thank you for liking hyping if you want to support the channel link is in the description you can buy me a coffee thank you for your supers thanks for your nice comments and for being here and for watching and for supporting my work i really really appreciate it i hope you're all having a great rest of the weekend and i'll see you very soon i'll put some interesting videos here in the end screen if you click there i'll see you just in a second stay safe from aliens guys bye bye